Welcome to another The Compass 77 video. I've just finished recording my weekly Monday video blog thingy and I've thought, oh, I thought I'd actually record this video. You see, there's been a lot of talk about VAR uh, in football and whether it's a good idea, whether it's a bad idea, whether it's needed, whether it's not needed. For years there's been a debate that people wanted it, that people didn't want it and uh, it's doing, I think, quite well in the MLS, uh, they're, they're, that's, they're actually moving along with that uh, quite nicely. In England, trying it out here and there, tr just, you know, trying to come to get, you know, to understand this, you know, they're trying to understand how do we use this, how do we, 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 how, how, what is it, well, I mean, can we use this, is it going to slow down the game too much? Do we really need this? Uh, well, hmm. I think I think it's going to be one of those those issues where yes and no. I think I think VAR is going to improve certain situations. I think it's going to help in certain situations. However, I'm definitely sure that there are going to be moments when people are going to be saying. Why do we need this? It's just taking so long. It's, it's. I mean, the we had a incident at the weekend. Juan Mata thought he'd scored against Huddersfield. It took a what, bit of a while for the 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 decision to come through. You know, from the VAR to the referee, and then the referee disallowed the goal because I think it was a case of Juan Mata being in an offside position. Inches, but still offside. So I think, I think, I, I don't know, I just think it's a case of, you know when it's something, you, you start something. It, it, can, it can often um, take time, you know, it can, you, you go through certain stages and if you've experienced, if you're experiencing something, for, especially for the first time, it's like, you're not going to be like, Mm, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not going to go so smoothly, you know. And with this, with this, because it's like in professional soccer, uh, football, and 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 people are you know all, all around the world watching these games, and you know especially if it's a if it's a game involving a team like Manchester United or Chelsea or Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City, then then. You know, you, you're going to want things done straight away. And especially in today's world where everything has to be instant. That's, that's, the, that's the nature of it, that where patience is not... Uh, no, that's not it. You know, for example, taking photos once, you know, in one, one time. There was this time in the history where you, you had to wait for your photos. You know, it took a like 36 photos or whatever you took it to this place they developed the photos and then you got the photos in like paper format and that's how you got the photos now it's like on your smartphone or, any, or, uh, or whatever you have instant take a photo you can look at it and this is it with the VAR I just think it's in the, and in football in soccer because of the nature of the game because people are, are used to it being you know just Stuff is happening all the time, and, and people don't like stops, stoppages in the game. They don't like it when it stops. They don't like it when a team plays uh, from the back and it's slow. It's not a fast attack. This is going to add to the frustration for quite a lot of people, I think. Other people might be more understanding. They might think, okay, VAR, we need this because we don't want repeats of, for example, the Frank Lampard situation uh, at during Germany. Scored a perfect goal, but no, it was chalked off. The referee said no goal, it wasn't a goal, but of course it was a goal. And if VAR was used at the time, then the referee would have definitely said that that was a goal. So yeah, it's needed, and it's not needed in my opinion. Uh, but probably needed more than not. I think the game is heading in that direction. I And, and to be honest, as I said... It's the first like steps, even in the states, the first steps of this. So it's gonna, it might take even ten years before this VAR thing is like at a at a completely different level. 
But for it to get to that different level, it has to go through these stages now. Because if we, if we don't do it now, if, it, if, if, if this isn't done now, then we won't get, the world will not get to a place where I think it will be, where it will be really good. I think it's because it's a different type of sport than, than American football or, or ice hockey, for example, or rugby. I think I think we use it in rugby as well. I just think it needs to be done in a bit of a different way. And that's where, where I think people have to think of it. How do we get this done in that different way? How can we make it quicker? And I'm just wondering about the cameras as well, the, the, the angles, the views. Are they in the right place? Because you, you've got, I mean, the pictures that were sent. I mean, if it was, even if it was a good, even if it was a, the proper photo sent from White Matters offside, I'm not so sure whether the, ref, the, the VAR is looking at the right angle all the time. Because if you're watching a football match, you're not looking at it at the right. At, you, you're always watching a football match at a certain angle. The pitch is at a certain angle. The offside, the way the, you know where the linesman is, he's got a different angle of view. So I think maybe because you've got all this technology now, perhaps there should be multiple kind of cameras, if that's the right word. That would that would actually maybe or maybe something that would follow the line of the ball or something or the pass of the ball from the other side of uh, the pitch, the the other the other wing, for example, so that there's so that you got the linesman. The linesman has to be where he is, but if you're like standing at the other end, so the camera would also follow that the ball and also the player or something like that. I think there's something to be thought up about this. I think there's a way to make it more um, smooth and make it quicker. So yeah, just early days really. So I don't think it's. There's, I don't. I mean, the the more we. I mean, people like complain about it and and like, oh no, I don't like this. So you're never going to get past it. I think this this is just a stage. As I said, this is a stage towards what 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 we want to see. We want to see it being used, but we want the game to go as quickly as possible, you know, flow as quickly as possible. We want these decisions made as quickly as possible. And I think that's possible, but after a certain period of time. That's what I think. But I think it will be good in the long run if, if certain things are thoughts. Uh, you, know, if the, you know, through experience, you're going to learn stuff. So this, this, these are experiences. And it's, I don't think it's a bad thing. Okay, people are going to make a big thing about that. The wrong photo was sent by, 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 I think it was a hawk's eye or some, something. Look, it was sent. It's not a tragedy. There are bigger tragedies in the world. Let's just move past it. I think VAR, in the long run, can be very good. Of course, it won't re resolve every single issue. It won't make the game perfect because it will never be perfect. But I think, the v I think VAR is a step in the right direction. I really do. Especially in today's world. Yeah, that's my say. What's your say? What do you think about the VAR? Do we need it in football and in soccer? Or don't we? Let me know. Feel free to let me know. Feel free to subscribe, like, comment and share. Take care. Bye-bye.